Covering the Treasure Coast, St. Lucie County is now the latest county in our area to issue a burn ban. This comes after days of dry weather and extreme heat. CG9 joins us live from the St. Lucie County Fire District headquarters with more on the danger these present conditions will pose and how you can protect yourself and your family. Suji. Well, we were on the way to interview the St. Lucie County Fire District about the burn ban when we were just learning that there was a brush fire that started just a couple minutes away. There, I had the chance to talk to crews about their efforts as well as more on what this burn ban means. This is the second time it's actually happened within about five or six year period, so yeah, a lot of brush back there, so yep, yeah, it'll ignite pretty quickly. Adrian Martinez lives along Northwest Dowell Court in Port St. Lucie. He, along with thousands of residents, had gotten an alert from St. Lucie County about a burn ban Monday morning. And just hours later, Adrian rushed to his home after hearing that a brush fire broke out right in his own backyard. One of the neighbors called me and told me that there was a fire in between both of the properties. Uh, so I came to inspect it and luckily the fire department was here before I got here. Fire crews, Florida Forest Service and Port St. Lucie police rushed to the neighborhood to find a blazing brush fire wedged between these two homes. We did have some structural involvement on the roof of the house behind us here. Crews were able to get water onto that. While the cause of this fire is under investigation, officials say dry temperatures lead to dry vegetation, which are targets for brush fires. Right now, I think our average is 628 for the uh, drought index. And to give you some examples, Death Valley is in the 700s. And county leaders hope this burn ban will help, which means no non-permitted outside burning. Watering their yards is always a good option. Um, can, don't have any outside bonfires. If you're cooking outside, be vigilant of that. The county had also issued a local state of emergency Monday morning. Maybe we need some heavy equipment to do land clearing to create new fire lanes. I mean, fortunately, we have that equipment on staff, but if something breaks or and we need to get a vendor in right away, the state of emergency allows us to expedite that process. Even neighbors from across the street of the brush fire at Dowell Court were affected by the wind and flames. Their front lawn seeing some damage. It's very dry out. I mean, it's obvious that we need the rain. And crews tell me that they are very optimistic about the rain coming in the coming days, but they are also concerned about lightning strikes. They will continue to remain vigilant in the upcoming days. Reporting live in Port St. Lucie tonight, I'm Suji Nopfer, WPBF 25 News.